Good morning, folks. We've got news from the ground out to space, but we'll be starting with our star because a day's rest with eruptive factors remaining brings us to this morning. Let's head over to spaceweathernews.com. No big flares since we last spoke, no eruptions of note either. The next coronal hole is visible incoming from the left amidst the bright active regions. The primary grouping is facing Earth today, the other developing region is departing the disk to the right. The one facing Earth still has beta magnetism and has tightened up a bit. Eyes on him today and also the coronal holes. Their IMF and kinetic alpha waves are what was driving that seismic note you heard yesterday on the more than 30 days we had gone without a magnitude 6 event. Let's revisit what we heard yesterday morning. Southern transequatorial opening visible at the left side. Only lithospheric note of the day was another 5.3 volcano eruption in Hawaii, but the end of the earthquake drought at magnitude 6 level is now forecast for the coming three days. Well, that didn't take long. 6.1 in Vanuatu. Luckily, they're somewhat used to larger rumbles on the island. We also took a 5.4 volcano eruption in Hawaii, and we need to look at the data on this one. The magnitude of the eruption does break the 5.3 streak and matches the largest of the eruptions we've seen at Hawaii. However, it was significantly less deformative. The electric tilt registered very little up top, and on the other hand, below you see the strongest magnetic deviation was caused by this eruption. That peak point outperforms the rest of the chart. For a more heartfelt look at the wildlife destruction, very good piece linked below on that. Last night, we showed you how the Texas storm was consumed by the convergence line out of the northern system, looking like a hurricane over land. Figured we'd follow that up with its entry into nighttime still spreading across the eastern half of the country. And also, since it was the solstice yesterday, I want to show you how Earth's tilt is visible from GOES-16. This was yesterday, longest day up north, highest north the sun traces across the sky, visible in the Caribbean Sea and skirting Mexico. And now compare that to three months ago in March. There are no images from the winter solstice up north, but this is enough to see how much further south the sun was tracking at the end of winter. Starting with the old, a relic galaxy, one of the first ever, has not collided or merged. Chandra snapped an x-ray shot of this red nugget galaxy trying to learn how its galactic nucleus drives star formation. From old to new, and planet formation this time. A gorgeous and annotated proto-disc shows how the lack of homogeneity indicates the first of a planet born within this system. Up next, the top story. It appears that modified gravity cosmology, like MOND, is in big trouble. About as big a trouble as dark matter searches have met thus far. Now while the nature of gravity remains elusive, the effects of, say, dropping an apple are easily observed and can be measured, doing just that at a cosmic scale. The force itself acts exactly as they thought and does not change over vast distances. This is a crushing blow for MOND, even though they aren't any closer to realizing the electrostatic drivers of the force itself. And since we're throwing swings, folks, the EU released this, and it seems like the kind of thing of which we should be wary, even concerned. However, it takes about two minutes to figure out this is part of their land-use propaganda agenda and aims of putting things like this in play. This is Agenda 21's Wildlands Project land-use map for the United States, which is horrifying, and luckily got 100% shut out and laughed out of Congress when it was first presented. Now, things are a bit more covert playing on your emotions and fear, make you beg for the enhanced control over our lives. Just an FYI on where they're really going with this in case you found yourself having an oh no, we gotta do something moment. Don't. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.